So let us see this next question, MCQ question 21. A simple pendulum is suspended from the ceiling of a lift. When the lift is at rest, its time period is capital T. With what acceleration should the lift be accelerated upward? In order to reduce its period to T by 2, G is a acceleration due to the gravity. Weightlessness in a satellite, in a lift, as a known case of the mighty, they tell the hey, Kaipra. So, when the lift is moving downward, we have feeling of partial weightlessness or complete weightlessness. So, the effective gravitational acceleration decreases in downward direction and increases in upward direction. So, when G increases, period will decrease. So, for upward motion, there is a decrease in the period. So, the situation is uh, like this. Uh, <coughs> for simple pendulum, for simple pendulum, period capital B is equal to 2 pi multiplied by n of L by G. Therefore, T is inversely proportional to square root of B. So, this is the property that we are going to use in our problem. T is inversely proportional to B. <coughs> when Period is equal to capital D and gravitational acceleration and acceleration of the lift acceleration of the lift is equal to G therefore. T is inversely proportional to square root of G. This is the equation to 1. Now, when the motion is upward, when the lift moves upward, upward, then new period is equal to t dash is equal to t by 2 and effective acceleration effective acceleration of the lift d dash is equal to g plus a a is equal to question mark like this and therefore, t dash is uh, inversely proportional to square root of d dash. This is the equation second. This is the equation <coughs> second. So, 2 by 1 joules. So, t dash upon t is equal to under root the g dash one is d dash upon d. Therefore, t dash is t by 2 upon t is equal to, this is equal to g plus t upon b. Therefore, 1 half is equal to under root of g plus t upon b. Squaring 1 by 4 is equal to g plus a by d therefore d is equal to 4 times g plus a therefore a is equal to 3 times g a is equal to 3 times g so the lift is moving with acceleration 3 times g so this is equation 3 
under the correct question B. B is correct. B is correct. <coughs> like this. So in this problem, <coughs> we are using the property of <coughs> change in acceleration of the lift due to the vertical motion. <coughs> in upward direction, the gravitational acceleration, effective gravitational acceleration of the lift increases. Therefore, period of the pendulum will definitely decrease. In downward motion, here will be minus sign, g minus a. Effective acceleration will be equal to g minus a. So, the filling of complete weightlessness is possible in only downward direction. Partial weightlessness and uh, complete weightlessness. For complete weightlessness, A should be equal to G, like this. Now, <coughs> let us see this next problem, question number 22. So, I will read the problem. A point mass small m <coughs> is suspended at the end of the massless wire of length capital L and cross sectional area capital A. If Y is the Young's modulus for the wire, then the frequency of oscillation for the SHM along the vertical line is given by. Okay, the frequency which are there. Okay. So we know the formula for period. <coughs> period capital T is equal to 2 pi multiplied by under root two pi multiplied by under root m by k where m is a mass attached Frequency n is equal to 1 upon capital D is equal to 1 upon 2 pi multiplied by under root k by m. So this is equation 1. So our sequence of the of the m is equal to 1 upon 2 pi. So, the back is cut on the third bit. This is the answer. So, the answer is the So, where the frequency is equal to 1 upon 2 pi multiplied by under root k by m. So, the is equal Due to elasticity, restoring force F is equal to Kx in magnitude minus sign is neglected in magnitude. <coughs> F is equal to y is small l upon capital L. So this is equation A, this is equation B. Where L is a extension. Therefore, equating A and B, A is equal to y a upon capital L. This is equation 2 y is equal to Young's modulus. Young's modulus of material of wire. Material of wire. A is equal to area of cross section. Area of cross 
and is equal to length of the wire. Length of the wire. So put two in one. Put two in one. Therefore, frequency n is equal to one upon two pi multiplied by under root term. This k is replaced by y upon L m as it is there. So this is the correct relation. Frequency of oscillation n is equal to 1 upon 2 pi multiplied by n dot y upon m l. So a choice is correct. A mass of 2 kg is put on a flat pan attached to a vertical spring fixed to the ground as shown in the figure. The mass of the spring and the pan is uh, negligible. When pressure slightly and release, uh, the mass execute simple horizontal motion. The spring constant is uh, 200 Newton per meter. What should be the minimum amplitude of motion so that the mass gets detached uh, from the pan? Take G is equal to this much. So K is given 200 Newton per meter. G is equal to 10 meter per second square. And you have to find A minimum. Minimum amplitude is equal to person mark. So the arrangement is shown in the figure. This is a pan, horizontal plan. This is the spring attached. The spring is fixed to the ground. And this is a block of mass M placed on it. So mass of the block is, uh, I think, given M is equal to 2 kg. M is equal to 2 kg. So this plank oscillate up and down. This is the 210 kg. So this is the uppermost position, this is the lowermost position. Like this. So the block M loses contact with the with the pen when we have needed this condition while solving the regular problem when this is the condition omega square into a minimum is equal to g This is the equation capital P. So this is the condition to lose the contact. But omega is equal to under root term k by m. Therefore, omega square is equal to root nigundai k by m. So equation capital A gives k by m into a minimum what to find a minimum is equal to g and therefore a minimum is equal to m into g by k as a problem. So now substitute the value there. <coughs> therefore a is equal to m is equal to 2 kilograms, g is equal to 10 and k is equal to 200. So this is equal to 20 upon 200. So that is equal to 0.1 meter. So 
a minimum is equal to 10 centimeter. A minimum is equal to 10 centimeter. So when a is so correct answer is B. Therefore, B is correct. Now you can add these two points. When amplitude of oscillation amplitude of oscillation A is greater than or equal to A minimum the block loses contact. When A is less than A minimum, then block remains in contact, in contact with the pen. Guys, up to the Amplitude दी ले लिया सिस्टम और फ्रीक्वेंसी भी करता, पीरियड भी करता, तो सब उन करते हैं क्या? So this is question number twenty three. Now question number twenty eight is again based on the same thing. So we will see these two questions together. Question number twenty eight. सिंगल करेक्ट क्वेश्चन है कि मल्टीपल करेक्ट इस टाइप क्वेश्चन अपने लिए क्या देना है तो क्वेश्चन नंबर 28 सो लेट अस सी दिस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन 28 ए होरिजेंटल प्लैंक हैज ए रेक्टेंगुलर ब्लॉक प्लेस्ड ऑन इट the plank starts oscillating vertically and simple harmonically with an amplitude of 40 cm. The block just loses the contact with the plank when the latter is momentary at rest. Later on is that plank. So then the period of oscillation is equal to 2 by 5. The block gets double its weight when the plank is at one of the position of momentarily at the rate the block weight 1.5 the block weights is true weight on the plank when the ladder moves fastest charge the book at the level of the book is correct a little while apart from the period that is the block is Loses contact with the plank when this is the formula omega square into e is equal to g delta omega is equal to under root g by e is equal to g is equal to of the period set as n so g is equal to 1000 we are using cgs system upon amplitude is equal to 40 centimeter so that is equal to 25 therefore Omega is equal to 5. 
remaining choice B, C, D, one more choice is correct in this problem, which is correct. So the condition is given, the plank just loses the contact with the plank, the block just loses the contact with the plank when the latter is uh, momentary at rest. So momentary at rest means the velocity of the plank will become zero and we know that in SHM, the velocity is zero at extreme position. So when The plank is a momentary at rest that is its velocity is equal to zero, then it is either at lower most or upper most upper most position lower most or upper most position <coughs> for lower most position Directly we can use the job. A is a acceleration of the lift. Acceleration of the lift is equal to G. Because lift is momentarily at pressure. And therefore, G effect 2 is equal to G plus G that is equal to 2 times G. So, effective gravitational action becomes double. And therefore, the block weighs the double. The block weighs the double because of these two factors. The block weighs the double its weight. When it is momentary at rest, momentary at rest. So B is correct. The B is also. Become at rest, therefore, A is equal to B in this case. Acceleration of the lift is equal to B, like this. Sir. Now, if we consider the D choice, the block weights its true weight on the plank when the latter moves faster. 
डीपन करेक्ट है पन अपने प्रॉब्लम का कंडीशन पे होने को गेता नहीं ना रहता लेकिन अपने कंडीशन क्या दी ले ली द प्लैंकेट एड्रेस हियर द प्लैंकेट मूविंग विद द फास्टेस्ट स्पीड सो फास्टेस्ट स्पीड इज एट मिड पोजीशन एंड एट मिड पोजीशन द एक्सेलेशन ऑफ द लिफ्ट बिकम जीरो एंड दैट � so question number 23 and question number 28 both are same problem so remember this theory this equation is again used here the block loses the contact with the plank when omega square a is equal to g now here the amplitude is given 40 centimeter and we have to find the period or frequency. So period comes to be 2 pi by 5 ohm. It is a period the level of the level in terms of key. So the second part is the plonk is momentarily at rest that is velocity 0 when it is either at lowermost or uppermost position. These are both x position and we know that during SHM at x position the velocity becomes 0. The body is momentarily at rest. So for lowermost position the effective acceleration is equal to g plus a. For uppermost position, it will be equal to G minus A. Upon G minus A, either K later, the lift acceleration is zero. Practically not possible. When it is about zero, so the G effective is equal to G plus G, that is equal to G. So, but less than this condition, we have to apply the same. So, A is correct, B is also correct. So, A and B, both the choices are correct. So, this is a more than one answer is correct. So in this case, uh, A and B both are correct. The poor we A triple ila, J J H I V G A triple G exam. That is why multiple correct choice answer pan kahi vichar lela thei pasa. Next question number twenty four. What is the time period of pendulum hanged in a satellite? T is a time period on the root curve. 0, capital T, infinity and T upon root 6. So, the main condition is the, the body, the pendulum is the in satellite. Inside the satellite, Inside the satellite, there is a feeling of breathlessness. There is a feeling of breathlessness for each object. There is a feeling of weightlessness for each object due to due to state of zero gravity. Zero gravity. That is effect to acceleration. to acceleration due to gravity of earth is g dash is equal to zero in center of satellite. So this is the important problem. State of zero gravity, g is equal to zero. Therefore, period of pendulum suspended, suspended in a satellite, g is equal to. 
pi multiplied by under root of L by D dash. Since D dash is equal to 0, therefore T dash is equal to infinity. T dash is equal to infinity. And therefore, the correct choice is the C. Is correct. When the lift is moving downward freely, then again this period will be equal to infinity, like this. So, one more case is the, like this. Sir. When the lift is falling freely, falling freely in downward direction, downward direction, then G dash is equal to zero. Therefore, T dash is equal to infinity. Each of our problem predictable is infinity. It's a long thing case. At the center of the earth, again the gravitational acceleration becomes zero. E B at the center of earth. G dash is equal to zero. T dash is equal to infinity. So we get the infinite period answer infinite period. It is not measurable quantity. Like this. So these are the three cases where we can get uh, infinite period. Next. Next question 25. The length of the second pendulum is decreased by 0.3 cm when it is shifted to Chennai from London. The acceleration due to the gravity at London is 981 cm per second square. Then the acceleration due to the gravity at the Chennai is. So London is nearer to the South Pole than Chennai, therefore gravitational acceleration at London is more. Gravitational acceleration at Chennai is less. So answer will be less than 981 and therefore uh, either B or D is correct. The logical is not going to be able to cut the Therefore. Let GC is equal to gravitational acceleration at Chennai GL is equal to gravitational acceleration G1 is equal to G2 is equal to gravitational acceleration at London Since London is, uh, you can do the little like this, as we move from Earth's equator Earth's equator to pole the value of gravitational acceleration increases. London is nearer to South Pole, South Pole than 
変な意味ディーランダルイザーグレッターダンディーケンナイトダンフォーディートイザーグレッターダンディーワンディスディコーションスポーティーナウレンタップシェケンスペンドダウンFirst, we will consider question number 27. 26, we will take in next session. 27. The maximum speed of the particle in SATM is Vmax. Then, the average speed of the particle in SATM is equal to Vmax by 2, pi into Vmax by 2, Vmax upon 2 pi, and 2 times Vmax upon pi. So, the average speed we can learn. So this is the general definition. Average speed for any motion for any motion. Average speed Average speed is equal to total distance covered, total path length, upon total time taken, total time taken. So, V average is equal to L upon T. This is equal to 1. Total path length is L. So, if this is the path of SHM, 
A is a positive extreme position, B is a negative extreme position, and O is a mean position. So big distance is amplitude E. Therefore, for one complete oscillation, L is equal to OA plus AO plus OB plus BO. O to A, A to O, O to B, B to A. One oscillation complete. So that is equal to A plus A plus A plus A and therefore L is equal to 4 times A. So this is equation 2. And P is equal to capital T is equal to period of oscillation is equal to 2 pi upon omega. So this is equation 3. So 14 months. So V average is equal to L is equal to 4 times A upon capital T is equal to 4 times A upon 2 pi upon omega. So this is equal to 4 times A into omega upon 2 pi. So V average is equal to 2 times A omega upon pi. This is equation 4. But A into omega is equal to V max. And therefore, V average is equal to 2 times V max upon pi. V average is equal to 2 times V max upon pi. So total V max upon pi means correct choice is uh, D. And therefore, D is correct. D is correct. So this is the method to find the average velocity like this. The universal result between the average velocity and maximum velocity for SHM is given by this equation number say 5 or D is correct. Okay, we will stop here. Remaining problem we will see in the next session. Question number 26 is also remaining.